Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. What we're trying to show you is doctrines that they come up with, like in Christianity, that God loves everybody. Right. That's false. Right. What they teach us is the Trinity doctrine, that Jesus Christ and God and the Holy Spirit are all in one. That's that is right. false. Right. Because as the scriptures say it, that's how we're supposed to believe. So, so what, what's 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 the um, what, where 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 did I lose you right there? Because everything I said, you can get out of God's word, right? Oh, said, uh -huh, go ahead. I heard all the years of the Trinity, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. So you believe in the Trinity, Doctor? Correct. I was raised on them my whole life. That's what you. That's what you've heard your whole life, right? Now remember what we just read, it said, He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said. Right. So where can you show me in God's words that Him, His Son, and that the Holy Ghost are all one being? Where Bring can you out. show me that in the scriptures? Teach! That's a good question, right? Because you said I lost you there, but that's something you've heard your whole life, right? right? Right. So where can you read that in God's words? Give me Daniel chapter 7. Actually, matter of fact, read what you got first. Go ahead. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Uh -huh. Bring it out. But I would have you know uh -huh. that the head of every man is Christ. I want you to read. I want you to listen here. It says the head of every man is Christ. So are we in Christ on the same level? Are we the same being? Okay, Christ is in each one of us. But are you Christ? Did you live in AD and you died on the cross? Are you that being? No, you're not, right? So we're two different beings, right? That's right. Keep reading. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ uh -huh. and the head of the woman is the man so unlike they teach us in the world the woman is not equal to the man That's the right. man is above the woman right right remember what God just said he said that read it again for him. and the head of the woman is the man the right. head of the woman is the man so they teach us in society right. they teach us in Christianity yeah, that right. the man and the woman are equal That's right. but what did God just say and the head of the woman is the man. So right. are the woman and the man equal? No, nope. the man is above the woman. Right? That's right. He reads. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. That's so are God and Christ equal? Are they the same being? No. Bring it out. That's right. But That's just right. Like God, he has an order in everything that he does. The Teach. order is yeah. God, Christ, yeah. men, then the woman. That's but right. the reason why you have that false perception is because in church and school, they teach us a white man, Jesus Christ. And they teach behind that Jesus Christ and God are the same being. So what we're trying to show you, yeah, Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. What we're trying to show you is what they've taught us is lies. What you're, what you're understanding today is what God is actually saying. Because all we're doing is reading the scriptures. Bring it out. I'm not telling you nothing. I'm not telling you God and Christ aren't the same being. All I'm doing is reading you God's word. That's right. Read Teach your people. Matthew chapter 19 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Read it out. And behold, one came unto and said unto him, uh -huh. Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So this is a young man coming up to Jesus Christ. Asking him, good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? This is a question we should all have. Right. So what do you think Jesus Christ's answer was to that young man? Because we should all know, we're living on this earth. Do you like living in the conditions that you're living in? No, nah, we're on the bottom of society. Right? Teach your people! God said he made the whole entire world for our sake. That's, That's right. We should be ruling the planet earth. Right. So this young man asked Jesus Christ, how do I get back on top? 
How do I get eternal life where I'm ruling the planet? This is right. the question he's asking, right? Read it. And he said unto him, uh -huh. Why callest thou me good? Uh -huh. There is none good but one. That is God. Jesus Christ answered him and said, There is none good but one. That is God. That's so if right. God and Christ were the same being, right. why would Jesus Christ say that? Right. Right. Because they're not the same. That's, That's right. I want you to stay and listen, brother. I want you to stay and listen. This is the point right here. Read. But if thou will enter into life, uh -huh. keep the commandments. He said, That's if thou right. Will enter into life. Keep the commandments. Right. Keep. So us as a people, if we want eternal life, what do we have to do? Keep the That's commandments. Right. That is the basis of the whole entire Bible. God is trying to bring his people back to repentance. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.